welcome to my quick little guide for Fury's eighth boss, I believe, the Edge. Uh, the first half of this video is going to be just general strategy, and the second half is going to be small videos of most of his move sets in one fourth speed. The slow mo helped me envision what he was doing and get the timing down and help me beat the boss. So, hopefully, it'll help you too. If you need to study his moves, skip to about the second half. First half is just going to be general strategy. So, uh, here we go. Look, my biggest tip for these first two stages, which are really hard, I think. I think all of his stages are hard. Get charge shots like this. Do you see how much damage that did? Instead of having to do, like, five hits on him, you can get him down in three hits. It makes it quick. See? Already stage two. In stage two, he does this, and he almost always follows it up with one more of them. Not always, but quite often. And again, as long as you can mitigate your damage and get a little bit of damage in on him, then go ahead and charge up shots and get them in after that. On both stage one and two, you want to get these charge shots in after he does his big, you know, red sweeps. There, there, charge up your shot, dodge over, and immediately get damage in. Here's stage three, which I think was probably his most difficult. Uh, if you can get it down pretty well so that you can actually get to stage four fairly reliably so you can practice it a couple times, I think you're going to get through pretty quickly after that point. Uh, the thing that's so hard here is he has so many small variations that are just going to rip you apart. You know, it's just hard to memorize. You have to be a lot better on reaction time here than with any other boss at any other stage. Uh, but my one big tip here is that if you do, uh, during one of his pause attacks, one of his alternate attacks, hit parry too early, still hurry up and try to dodge out of the way, because if you dodge behind him, then maybe you'll actually dodge his attack and be able to hit him from behind. If you dodge a little too early still somehow, sometimes he'll turn around and hit you, but you know, it's worth a shot. And uh, it helped me quite a few times get through that stage. Give it a shot, anyway. And here we are, stage four already. As you can see, this boss doesn't take that long as long as you do it quickly. Here's his six hit combo. Uh, it's a good way to get a little health back. It's not that hard to parry. You just want to be careful on that sixth hit. The sixth hit comes late. And then you want to make sure that hopefully you can get far enough away uh, out of his AoE attack and charge up and get some quick damage in there. Uh, after his fire attack, now you've been probably pre-programmed like me during his first stages that you can only get one hit after each of his attacks. That's not true after his fire attack. So don't let that preconditioning screw you up here after his five fire attacks go in and you can get two or three for some decent damage and there you go now let's kill this motherfucker in style again right after we watch this asshole's death we will get to the slow-mo version of his move set if nothing else maybe that will finally get you through this boss give it a shot anyway Study up and uh, good luck.